in this media we are going to learn about motor uh, insulation classes okay it is very important and it is often asked by surveyor when we talk about motor insulation class we will see here first why it is significant and why do we study all these things and what are the temperatures of different different classes so i uh, this is a typical uh, uh, you see the nameplate that you uh, see on a motor okay there you find details like kilowatt and uh, how much hp it is volt okay that uh, you also have insulation class wherein you find it here this is written as f okay amps rpm and all those things power factor weight frequency everything so now this what does f means you will at the end of this video you will be able to answer what does this insulation class f means so, but before going on to all those things we are going to discuss about what is motor insulation class so now when we talk about motor insulation class is to describe the ability of motor winding insulation to handle heat so how do they handle the heat because why this heat is important because of which it is destroying your uh, motor uh, this resistance there are currently four electric motor insulation classes like a b f and h although there are also n r s classes of these four b f h are the most commonly used these classes specify the allowable temperature rise from an ambient temperature of 40 degree so whatever is the ambient temperature of 40 degree celsius it, it describes that what is that rise above that 40 degree celsius so why it is important so uh, when your motor is actually uh, when it is working uh, above its allowable winding temperature the service is always going to be reduced so service life because of heat it reduces okay in fact at 10 now so there is a rough figure which is given that a 10 degree celsius increase above the allowed maximum can cut your motor's insulation life expectation by half so imagine only 10 degree increase cuts the life of ins uh, motor by half okay so you know why it is important and why we are discussing it today if you have a motor uh, with class a insulation its maximum winding temperature is going to be 105 no, uh, degree celsius if it is pro uh, if it is operating at 125 degree celsius then it that is 20 degree celsius over its limit and each 10 degree increment over that limit reduces the life by half this operating temperature will reduce motor life to just one fourth of its original life expectancy imagine the original was 105 and it has just increased to 125 so imagine the life of the motor keep in mind that the surface temperature of your motor may seem high but still be within the range so whenever you are touching any motor uh, it must be you must be feeling that it's very hot but it is it must be within the uh, uh, range temperature of F class when we talk about then it, 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 it is somewhere around it is somewhere around 155 degrees Celsius you are one of your technique evidently lays these hands on the surface and you find it to be hot okay which is uh, but but it can be within range measuring motor temperature how do we measure this motor temperature there are a couple of different ways to measure motor temperature you could get a quick estimate of winding temperature by measuring the surface temperature and adding 30 degree okay but that is certainly not the best approach embedded thermocouples that is rtd resistance element temperature and resistance are directly related can be used for the winding uh, winding to provide more accurate reading these readings can be automated and sent to a condition monitoring system so these uh, which has the added advantage of demonstrating hot temperature so this is the way that we uh, that we measure the rise of temperature how it is okay and uh, how we do it okay now when we talk about this temperature rise letter you may see the use of a temperature rise letter used along the insulation class such as an f stroke b motor the f refers to the insulation class for the windings while b refers to an 80 degree celsius rise that is maximum temperature rise for class b is 80 degree celsius okay so the maximum temperature rise that is given there so you may find it somewhere something like this. this type of notation is becoming more widespread because many motor uses uh, class f insulation uh, and there is a reason for that let's go back to the f stroke b it's rated for maximum winding temperature of 155 degree celsius and a maximum rise 
of 105 degree Celsius. The actual expected temperature rises 80 degree Celsius, which leaves as a thermal margin of 25 degrees. I hope it is clear for you all those values and the potential for a slightly longer. So which insulation class that you need that depends on the manufacturer we are not going to see but here we see the table that you see here that it is class uh, 105 that is insulation class A average winding temperature rise and then you have hot spot temperature rise okay then we have maximum winding temperature then uh, what is known as class 105A class uh, 150 or 30 that is B 80 degree Celsius 1 uh, 110 degree Celsius 150 degree Celsius similarly class F class N sorry uh, insulation class N and insulation class H so these are the different different range of temperature so I hope it is clear for you okay you may find somewhere that is slight variations and um, more but this is from an authentic source okay thank you so much thank you for your valuable time have a wonderful day ahead